Hi, I'm Marisha Ghosh, and we're back with the planning tip of the week. You've worked hard to save for retirement, and now you're ready to turn your savings into an income stream. But how much can you afford to withdraw from your savings and spend? If you spend too much, you risk being left with a shortfall later in retirement. But if you spend too little, you may not live the retirement you envisioned. One of the biggest numbers we try to help prospective clients identify as they go through the onboarding process here at Wheelhouse is how much money will they need month to month in retirement. When we ask for this number, we ask clients to envision their ideal retirement, whether it's a daily round of golf, long weekends at the lake, or a month snowboarding in Florida for winter, it's important to identify how much each family will need to pay their bills and live their ideal retirement day to day. This spending number is what we consider the second most important number in retirement planning. We tell our clients and prospective clients that the most important number in all of retirement planning is withdrawal rate. Withdrawal rate is the percentage of how much you will be spending from your portfolio as an aggregate each year. It's how we help investors identify if they are in a good position to retire or stay retired successfully. One frequently used rule of thumb for retirement spending is known as the 4% rule. It's relatively simple. You add up all of your investments and withdraw 4% of that total during your first retirement year. In subsequent years, you will then adjust the dollar amount you withdraw to account for inflation. By following this formula, you should have a very high probability of not outliving your money during a 30-year retirement according to the rule. For example, let's say your portfolio at retirement totals $1 million. You would withdraw $40,000 in your first year of retirement. If the cost of living rises 2%, you would give yourself a 2% raise the following year, withdrawing $40,800, and so on for the next 30 years. The 4% rule assumes you withdraw the same amount from your portfolio every year adjusted for inflation. While the 4% is a reasonable place to start, it doesn't fit every investor's situation. A few caveats. It's a rigid rule. The 4% rule assumes you increase your spending every year by the rate of inflation. It applies to a specific portfolio composition. The rule applies to a hypothetical portfolio invested 50% in stocks and 50% in bonds. Your actual portfolio composition may differ, and you may change your investments over time during retirement. So if you are in a much more aggressive portfolio, depending on performance, you may have to adjust your withdrawal rate. It doesn't include taxes. The rule guides how much to withdraw from the portfolio each year and assumes that taxes are an expense that you pay out of the money withdrawn. If you withdraw $40,000 and have $5,000 in taxes at year end, that's paid from the $40,000 withdrawn. So you are not bringing home the full $40,000 in this example, you are bringing home $35,000 net of taxes. The biggest mistake you can make with the 4% rule is thinking you will have to follow it to the letter. There will be years where, as we say it, life happens and there is a higher expense. These can either be due to fun things like family vacations or building a dream home or needed lump sum expenses such as replacing a car or a roof on the house. The 4% rule should be used as a starting point and a basic guideline to help you save for retirement and move into the stage of life confidently. If you want $40,000 from your portfolio in the first year of a 30-year retirement, increasing annually with inflation with high confidence your savings will last, using the 4% rule will require you to have $1 million in retirement. The transition from saving to spending from your portfolio can be difficult from a financial and mental perspective. There will never be a single right answer on how much you should withdraw from your portfolio in retirement. What's important is to have a plan and a general guideline for spending and then monitor and adjust based on circumstances. The goal, after all, isn't to worry about complicated calculations about spending. The goal is to enjoy your retirement. If you don't know your withdrawal rate or how you would like assistance in figuring this out into your retirement plan, our team of wealth managers would be happy to help. That's the planning tip of the week. I'm Rishi Ghosh, and we'll be right back.